I mean, I'm a stickler for authenticity and I need things to be perfect to the T. <laughs> this one really hits the spot, la, Chef. Yeah, I mean, this Ramadan man, you're going to have friends and family over. It's going to be expensive to buy soup echo from outside. Let me show you how to make this for a fraction of the cost. So we're going to start making the soup echo. To start off, we're going to make the ginger and garlic paste. Get your blender ready, garlic goes in. Ginger with chive, cleaned and sliced up. Add in your water. It's all nice and smooth. So ginger and garlic paste is used a lot in Malay and Indian cooking. Always have a batch of this ready in the freezer. Now for the star of our dish, about two kilos of Australian oxtails. It's all been cut up and I've removed some of the fat, Chinese parsley here, coriander as they call it. Just roll it up, want to give it a rough chop. Get a stock pot really hot, heat up your oil. Oil's hot now, it's shimmering. Add in your onions. Add some star anise and cinnamon sticks. This will help develop a really nice meaty flavor to the onions. Play around with your heat. You want it to nicely brown and caramelize your onions. Add in your ginger garlic paste. Turn back the heat on high and we want to cook out that ginger and garlic just till it's nice and sweet. The ginger garlic paste has thickened up. It smells really sweet. So I've turned off the heat. Now it's one pot cooking. We can put everything in. Salt goes in, garam masala, meat curry powder, lemongrass sarai that we've bruised up, black pepper, asam kipping, turmeric powder, bay leaves, coriander powder, cumin powder, chicken stock seasoning, coriander, tamarind water, lime juice, and fried shallots. We're gonna add in our water. And lastly, to start the show, the oxtails. Gently slide it in. Give it a mix, whack up the heat to full, wait for it to boil. Once it's boiled, we're gonna simmer it for about an hour and a half to two hours till the meat is tender. As it's simmering, you can see all this froth forming up. You wanna clear this a bit to remove all the scum. All right. Consistency of the soup is nice, thick, and it's rich. So now we can add in our vegetables. I've got diced up potatoes and carrots. Whack it up to a boil again. Bring it to a simmer for about five minutes until the potatoes and carrots are tender. So it's been a good five minutes. Let's check on our potatoes and carrots. Ooh, nice tender. Yeah, potatoes are done. Carrots nice, sweet and soft. It's done. Now to plate up our soup echo. Garnish it ever so simply with a bit of fried shallots, spring onions, some nice coriander. Serve it up with any bread of your choice. I've got baguettes here. Okay, chef, what do we have here? Raz, I got a very authentic mama style soup echo for you to try. You know what, if you're from Penang, you're supposed to have this with roti bengali. Uh, I changed it a bit up today. I'm okay. using toasted baguettes. So it's a simple, hearty soup. Let's dig in. Let's do it. Cracky, cracky. Oh my god. Good. That was really tender. How long did it take you to cook this? Like, is it an overnight thing? Well, not including prep, but mm -hmm. I did simmer it for about two hours. Two hours. Yeah, till it's really tender. Wow. Glad you liked it. Yeah, 